Ready? This. Oh, oh, this is a big reach for Mama. She can't quite reach it. I don't think this is good. <laughs> Patty will sit right here and help. Is it the seven? Whoop! The seven. Day seven of Vlogmas, huh? What's going on down there? Yeah. Oh, your bottle. And look, what's going down down here is really what matters. She's like, why are you holding Patty? Why are you holding my sister? Huh? Patty's asking the same question. <laughs> okay, Papi, let's get coats on both sides. Exciting day planned. Exciting day. We are going to Douglas. Not exciting. Which is a border town on the Arizona-Mexico border. And then I Why are we going to Douglas? To get Patty's meds. <laughs> That's it. That's literally it. And it's like 45 minutes away. A Walmart. Which is the nearest, one of the nearest Walmarts. Then I volunteered to do some photography for a local winery. And that's what we're gonna do this afternoon. Brand new winery, just opened. Their wine's great, by the way. I've had everything. It's fantastic. But that's on the docket for today. Yeah. Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Devil's Cut? That's not very Christmassy. <laughs> Devil's Cut. It's perfect for you. Ah, straight bourbon whiskey. Syrah from France. I can't help but notice the pattern. We've been getting a lot of Frenchy stuff. A lot of Frenchy stuff in the in the in the advent calendar. A lot of Frenchy stuff. Add it to my Malbec from Argentina that I haven't had yet. Oh. Oh. These are little little logs of of heaven they're logs of heaven you did good Douglas Walmart. You can't really get much closer to the Mexican border than this Walmart here. It's basically the Mexican border is more or less right behind the store. Yes, I have my mask. Before you comment, before you give me crap, I have my mask. I'm going to put it on before I get inside. <sighs> yeah, can't get much closer. There we go. Honey, yeah. Okay. Honey mustard. Woo. We're regular health nuts. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. We're good. Chips. We're we have cookies. We have andouille, which that, yeah. We're doing a real grocery shop tomorrow. This is just looking for stuff we can't always find. That's correct. So. Douglas, Douglas used to be a pretty happening place. It was a copper mining town back in the day just like Bisbee, Bisbee, Arizona nearby. Uh, a lot of well-to-do people uh, lived here and visited here. In fact, the Gadsden Hotel is one of the most well-known hotels probably in the state, maybe maybe the country. I don't know, it's a, it's a historic hotel that a lot of rich people stayed in. So why not go inside? We're not gonna go inside obviously, but we're just gonna drive by it and see what we can see. So cool. the only thing, so that the only thing you see in Douglas is not just the Walmart. <laughs> the Walmart and the border wall, yeah. Uh, gee. Not much to downtown anymore. No. There'd be. It's supposed to be haunted. And That's what they say. It says 1907 on it. 
restaurant and bar are supposed to be really fun, but we have not gotten to go there yet. The fire ripped through the hotel in 1928. Did it? Yeah. Maybe that's why it's haunted. Yeah, it could be. We had lunch. Mm -hmm. Now we're chilling. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to go back and see all those sandhill cranes. Yes. We got some of those in video. Oh, good. Nice. We didn't know if we'd be able to see it in the video. There were yes. a lot. Yes. They're in this were. area now. Thousands of them. So. Yes. Very cool. Next stop, photography. Mm -hmm. I'll be playing photographer's assistant. <laughs> the better looking assistant. <laughs> Well, we are off to our little photo outing. I have my main camera here, a Sony a6600 with a Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens. I love this lens. And I have a neutral density filter on the front, so if we're outside, I could still maintain minimum aperture while not blowing out the photo. And I have a secondary camera, which is my a6300 with my trusty 18 to 105 lens. This was my main workhorse lens on a stream in life for years and years and years. Very high quality lens, love it a lot. So two cameras and a very beautiful assistant. And that's really all, all we need to <laughs> get some good, get there, so. to get some good wine shots. All right, we are on your, on our way out. And you know, whenever I'm at a photo shoot, it's, it's always different. It's always interesting because you don't really know what you're gonna be up against with these wine bottles, uh, a lot of it is like the outdoor. We want to bring in the outdoors, the environment, the mountains that are just right there, the dragoons. And I'm just driving outside of a gate, so don't worry. It's not, it's not too dangerous with my phone. Anyway, it was windy as all get out today. So like things were blowing around and you have to adjust for that and try to get it right. Just take lots of shots and go through them. So we'll see what happens, but I feel pretty good about this. It was fun. It's always good to get out and volunteer your time for somebody else. And we're doing that with a local winery. She got that at the winery we were at. Yes, I didn't pick out an ornament this year. And this one seems perfect for this year because it's Christmassy and wine related. And we did a lot of wine related things, especially with 1764 this year. That's right. You see the little... Light bulbs, that's kind of cool. And a cork. Beautiful. Somebody's making some dinner. We're having our, oh wow, that's way dark. That's way dark, let's <laughs> go over here. We're ha we have, that's, okay, that's better. Having our friend Gary over, mm -hmm. you know him. Well, I know you do. You do as well, I think. Uh, but you got some, you got some stuff. Today. I did. What the? What the? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm so excited that Gary's coming over. He's one of oh. her favorite people. I see. What are you doing? You're spazzing. We'll have to see if we can film her when he gets She's here. She goes crazy. Um. Yeah, I got some new Christmas things in the mail. I bought. I don't buy much every year, but I bought a few things this year. Um. Let's see. We had this pillow with a cactus cover on it, and so I just bought a new cover. Oh, that's nice. And it has reindeer. I like it. It says Merry Christmas. And then let's see all the different places I put my, my other, my other present, my other things. <laughs> it's a reindeer. There's one here. Oh, microwave. There's one here. Uh-oh. There's one there. Oh boy. Oh boy. I even put some in, gi in the gym. So Steve can be festive during his workout. This one has a gravity problem. <laughs> He's peeking over the door and from over the top. <laughs> and this one's a little dark, but you can see him there. This turned out a little bit brighter than I thought it was going to be. Slightly brighter red. 
See? He's a reindeer. I don't actually have any clothing for Christmas, so. Now you do. Now I have reindeer. Boom. I have Christmas earrings. Mm. Made by a woman here in Sunset. Mm. Penny likes the new shirt. You like reindeer, huh? You want to chase them. She wants to chase them. Speaking of chasing, I don't know if we mentioned, but um, after talking, well, seeing all your comments, and then also talking to other people, that was definitely a bobcat who visited us yesterday. So we've been extra cautious um, when we take puppies out. But we knew they were around here. Are you hitting me? Are you hitting mama? 